There was a great atmosphere about when Leitrim won the Nestor Cup. And when we realised we're playing Dublin, the lad says, we'll go up and see how they get on. I booked a room on the Clonliff Road. The in-calf heifer was sold in case she'd calve while her away and the neighbours might think we're neglecting things at home. I put up a flag down at the road. The last bit of a meadow was mowed, round baled and wrapped. We couldn't wait for the sun. We put the lot of sheep into the iron gate field. It was fenced well, sealed as tight as a drum, like the Dublin defence. And then the old fellow done a funny thing. He took out the axe and started cutting whins in the field under the house. And he named each fern as he went along, as if these parasites had done something wrong apart from ruin every bit of land we had. And he'd lift the axe and let it fall. Now, Charlie Redmond, get up and take you free. Oh, that'll put the running off your sheedy. You'll not jump as high now, Murphy. And he walked away till the field was clean. There wasn't a Dublin player or sub to be seen standing. He threw down the axe and clenched his fist, looked around to see was there anyone he missed, and then he roared, Now, Dr. Pat O'Neill, see would you get any of them boys fit for Sunday? My mother bought a loaf and a pound of ham for the sandwiches, gone were the days of the jam, thanks be to God. My father was looking for tickets into the Hogan stand, and he eventually got them off some clergyman he met and knocked that wasn't going. He was from Mayo. We got a fella in to milk the cows on the Sunday morning, some cavern man longing for the days when all Ireland's to be played in the polo grounds again, and when cavern might win again. And we headed for Dublin. Tickets, sandwiches, and hope. My mother put a lot of things into a bag, a couple of toothbrushes and soap, and an extra pair of clean socks for the old fella. We drove straight to Dublin, parked on Dorset Street, went up to Quinn's pub for a drink, and see would we meet anyone from home, and so they're all there. We drank all night. Then that Sunday, that Sunday was a great day. The sun shone and Leitrim, County Leitrim, took its place among the other 31. Despite what they say about football in Connacht, I did nothing got to do with football. We seen Colm O'Rourke when we were going into the Hogan stand and I couldn't help thinking there's better land in Mead than there is in Leitrim. That's why he left. Pity. How we were bit. We were well bet, but the boys never gave up and they'll be back again next year, maybe with a bit of luck. And so there's, there's more to football than winning. There's, there's, there's the sandwiches, the flags and the prospect of another year and the memories and the cheer. Ah, oh, the cheer when Leitrim ran out onto Crow Park and the look on my father's face and the tear in his eye and him thinking I had a right to hit Charlie Redmond harder when I had him in the field under the house. <laughs>